Hello, bonus part five. You don't have to really be watching this video. I finished in the last one, but I was gonna add this. I might as well record a video of me adding it because why not, right? So I just wanna add one little interface element to this. You should add more interface elements. And what I'm gonna add is a checkbox to turn the debugging stuff on and off. So how do I do that? Uh, there's a bunch of different ways I could do this. Uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use the P5 DOM library and I'm going to say, uh, I'm gonna create a variable called debug. And I'm gonna say uh, debug equals create checkbox, I think is the function. Let's just see, let's just see. I'm gonna run this, refresh it. Look at that. So now there's a little checkbox. Check, 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 check. So the P5 DOM library allows you to just generate DOM elements on the fly and it adds them directly to the page. Now, I have a whole set of DOM tutorial videos that I will link to um, because there's a lot of other interface elements you could imagine adding to this that allow you to control various parameters. I'm just adding the debug checkbox. Okay, so now that I have this, I can say, oh my God, this is so, this would be the shortest, my world record for shortest video ever, and I know I'll ruin it by talking for way too much. But um, right here in the vehicle's uh, display function, this is where I draw the debugging information. So guess what? Let's, let me just go here to the console. If I type in debug, we can see it's a P5 element. And if I say debug.checked, checked, it's false. Now if I check it and say debug checked, it's true. So this is so easy. Wow, what a nice, fun little thing to discover. So I'm gonna say if debug.checked, you know, I should make it prettier and design it and use some CSS and all that sort of stuff. If debug.checked, draw all that debug information. So now I'm going to refresh this page and we can see this is really what it should look like. I don't need to see all of the debugging information. I just want to see the system behave. So I'm going to let it run for a little bit. That's such a lame joke. Let me stop doing that joke. I'm going to let it run for a little bit. I'm going to go on a train ride. Is that, that's not any better. I'm back. I'm back. I came back. And now let's take a look at the debugging information. And we can see we have, you know, this is a little less obvious of a result than we got the last time, but you can see there's some good ones here with a kind of strong attraction force, a, a repulsion force of the poison, and their perception radius being larger or smaller. So anyway, this is a kind of nice way to add an interface that I can kind of take a look at different views. I could add a slider to tweak a bunch of things. I hope that you think about designing, like, your creativity, you know, on the one hand, the creativity you can add to this is a purely visual thing. So what's the story you're telling? What kind of visual elements will tell that story? What kind of clever interactions can you offer a user? But also I think your creativity can really be about designing the system. So right now there's only food, there's only poison, there's only two weights and two perception radii. What other things can you add to this? I hope you add some of those. My, the code will be linked on GitHub and all each code has a readme and if you want to add something you make, you can add it with a pull request to that readme and if you don't know how to do that, just add a comment on YouTube, check my how to do a pull request video, which I have somewhere. I'll see you in a future coding challenge. Thanks very much.